Yeah, but everything's going to be up on the screen. That little book really is there for, for you to take home. So everything's going to be up on the screen? Yeah, well, Jim, start, uh, start the recording. Yeah, it's all going to be up on the screen. Oh. Did you start the recording? Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to recap lesson one through four. Um, if you think we're taking too long on the recap, just pin on manga, and we'll just skip. But I, I think we should take our time. It's been a while. Huh? Oh, Book two. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna overlook those things. Are gonna. We're gonna well, we're gonna do the best we can. We can't go into all the details on those. No, we're gonna go through it quick, huh? Well, we're, I'm going to have to re-record those in full. The one, two, three, and four well, on off time. We did at the Bible study. Do the same way we Let's just did. Like right. Uh, Chino, I need you to get me something to drink here. And uh, guys, when you talk, make sure you pass the microphone around. Okay. Uh, Christian maturity recap. Uh, reminder, this is an Assemblies of God course. Uh, it's Chachez from a Huerta School of Assemblies of God. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one. Jim, go to the next slide. No, just use the arrows. Okay, next one. Okay, stay here. Um, recap. Christian maturity is an ever-present goal for believers in Christ. This goal is to reach the very height of Christ's full stature. Ephesians 4.13. Uh, Jim, can you pull up Ephesians 4.13? Just type in E-P-H and then 4 and then click on 13. We're going to get it on the screen. We want it to go on the recording. We got it. Okay. Ephesians 4.13. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man. To the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. This is the ever-present goal that's supposed to be there. This is supposed to be at the top of our list as sons of God. Go back to uh, the Google Chrome. So, body, Christian maturity. Thank you, Shavu. Christian maturity, go back, is an ever-present goal for believers in Christ. This goal is to reach the very height of Christ's full stature. Next one. Go. Michael, guide your mic. I got this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here's the lessons that is in Unit 1. If you remember, there's three units, I believe, in, in this course. And it's broken up into lessons. We finished 1 through 4. This is what we already finished. Number five, we're going into unit number two. So the lessons we covered was godly desires for growth. Right. Number, this, number two, the second lesson was Jesus Christ, an illustration of growth. Right. The third lesson we looked at was further illustrations of growth. Uh, and then number four was hindrances and help to Christian growth. We went through those. Go to the next one, Jim. Go back. Give me a second. Let me fix this. No. Use, use these arrows when I tell you. Okay, just use the left and right arrow. You see like that? Okay. Uh, go to the next one. Go. Okay, lesson one introduction. This was the, the overall look for lesson one. Most fathers and mothers watch eagerly as their children grow. They point with pride to each new sign of growth. Children also long for the day when they will be growing up. Then they are mature enough to accept full rights and duties in the family from the viewpoints of both parents 
and children, nothing is more sad than a lack of normal growth. It's a normal thing for the parents to expect their children to grow. I, and even little kids want to grow. It's the normal process. Don't flip until I tell you to, okay? All of this is true when applied to our spiritual life as well. God desires a growing fellowship with humans. Humans also desire this relationship and feel lost without it. Even man does not understand what he needs. He is searching for this fellowship with God, but he cannot find it until he accepts Jesus Christ as Savior. Then, as a believer, man cannot experience the level of fellowship which God desires until he accepts God's purpose for him. That purpose is to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. We can say, therefore, that Christian maturity fulfills the desires of both God and man. Next one. Growing up is fun, but difficult. I'm sure you remember exciting things about becoming an adult, but you have not forgotten the hard things either. This course, as the Holy Spirit uses it to teach you, will challenge you and help you grow. As you grow, you'll become aware of new rights and more important duties in God's family. Apostle Paul writes in the Bible, When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. That's found in 1 Corinthians 13, 11. Such growth is necessary for you also. Go. Go to the next one. Okay, so what was the lesson outlined in that lesson? We're just, we're just going to read the descriptions, the first opening descriptions, and then we're going to look at the outlines. Uh, in lesson one, God's desire for man's growth, if you remember, it was... Uh, in creation, from fall to redemption, and from redemption to maturity. Right. Now, I want to point something out here. Look it. You could see how each one connects to the other. Yeah. Look, creation, and then from, crea from the fall to redemption. When man fell, God's goal was to redeem. Now, after redemption was finished at the cross, the goal is now to maturity. So, on Dazamin, slowly but surely and right now maturity is the goal it's God's goal and it should be ours okay direction of humanity's growth this is what we looked at through Jesus's life through the assurance of salvation through understanding natural growth do you remember all this okay go to the next one can you wait yeah but take the microphone if you're going to talk. Go back. Go back one. Okay. Michael, read the top lines first. God's desire for man's growth. Read that first. God's desire for man's growth in creation from the fall to redemption, from redemption to maturity. Okay. Well, put it back up. Why did you take it off? All right. Can you guys hear me? Back up the mic for your face. All right. There's something here that we miss. And the Lord's been revealing it to me since the past couple of weeks. So, the Kaskakara, God's desire for man's growth. So, a kabuchik, I bushol, order. God has order. Yeah. Man has disorder. That's why he fell. When he redeemed us, he gave us order. Order for redemption and to be mature. I wanted to point that out because it's necessary for people to understand what is God's plan. He has an order. He does not compromise. You cannot go from fall to maturity. It's impossible. Mm -mm. That's disorder. That's disorder. But they do it anyway. Right. That's called disorder. 
God has order. Right. And this is what he's trying to show us. God's order is set this way. That's all I wanted to say. Not only that, Stevie, that's fantastic, but not only that, the Budjene Mangan redemption. They want to be redeemed. They want to be forgiven. They want to be reconciled. But order. Order, okay. Chi megotu te besas on the yektan. Right. Redemption. Okay. You come to the cross to forgiveness. Correct. But you don't stay there. Correct. You wake up and you start walking and you walk into maturity. Correct. It's not natural and it's not so del mangal just for you to be redeemed. That's right. There's a Sarpanazwa, there's an order. But Odell got okay, you're redeemed. Ja. See what happens is when you're redeemed at Besos Potan, you become stagnant. You, it's not natural. It's Igbebitsa, Dara Kajal. Yeah. I did not bario. Correct. Correct. It's not natural. So it's not O o ebuchi se te na ave stagnat de muchistu to go from glory to glory to glory Amen. God's glory. That's Amen. Right. That's right. All right, Jim, go. Was this the next slide? Yeah. Okay. Uh, lesson one objectives. Okay, those was the outlines. The objectives we took in those lessons said this: explain why God created humans. State the goal that God has planned for man to attain through redemption and growth in Jesus Christ. Because they go together. Yeah. Right. They go together. Correct. To attain redemption and growth in Jesus Christ. Use Ephesians 4.13, that's the scripture we read, to point out the goal of Christian maturity. The goal is to reach the full stature, full stature of, of Christ. Explain why no man can find complete satisfaction for his need for growth unless he looks to God. Because there's no order. There's, it, it, chi malavez, nothing else will satisfy. Man doesn't have order. When, yes, 100%. The order that God created yeah. was, I created man in my image. Correct. And because of the fall, there's a piece of the image missing. And in order to satisfy that peace, you could only find it in God, well, in Jesus. When the fall came, so did chaos. Yeah. Chaos came. 100%. Okay. Exercise faith. Did we skip this one? Yeah, okay. Exercise faith in Christ to fulfill the true purpose of your desire for growth. Tell why the basis for your spiritual growth is is supernatural compare spiritual growth with natural growth we went through all those uh jim yeah. next one you need to pay attention go all right lesson two introduction this was at uh, the top of the lesson this is what this lesson was was getting us into it says do you remember a time when you really when you really pleased a parent or a teacher yeah. with with some evidence of growth have you ever seen a little boy trying to stand tall beside his father? Right. I remember visiting one home where the two boys had marked their father's height on the wall. Below it, uh, below it were a variety of dates and measurements to compare the boys' progress. We've seen this before. Bozudo, they put marks with dates on the, the progress. Okay, uh, We have seen that our Heavenly Father desi desires our maturity so we may fellowship with Him. See, why does God want maturity? God created man to express His love, fellowship. to have fellowship. God wants us to mature so that we could have that fellowship with Him. He doesn't just want to have fellowship with a bebitsa, the same Bebitsa for 40 years. Jigana. Right. Right. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't fit. So we need to grow and fulfill God's purpose for creating us in His image. Next one. 
Perhaps maturing as a believer seems hard to understand. What does Christian maturity look like, you may ask? The little, bo the little boys I mentioned had a visual goal. They knew their father. They could measure his height. It was not hard for them to picture their own progress toward his likeness. Go. That's our purpose in this lesson. This was lesson two. We want to clearly define Christian maturity in terms of goals we can visualize. See, this course is going to help us get a measurement. This is where we need to get. The Bible is an open book. Jesus often taught in parables, which were word pictures taken from people's common experiences. We will discover that the Bible's standards for growth are clear and relate to each one of us. Next one. So the outline for lesson two was getting a goal to grow toward. Correct. And that was the mature manhood of Christ. Correct. In the character of Christ, when we read through the Gospels, the mature manhood, that's our measurement. That's where we need to get. That's what we aim for, what we strive for. Uh, the second one was seeing how Jesus grew. We took a look at physical maturity in Jesus. We looked at mental maturity, social maturity, the brutal cavegenenza, okay, uh, spiritual maturity, uh, learning about Jesus' image, humility and obedience, they go hand in hand. He surrendered his will to God's will. Humility and obedience. If you remember, Tony, if you remember, we talked about this. Humility and obedience. The consequence of that, it produced the consequence that caused Jesus to surrender His will to God's will because humility and obedience was in His life. Okay? Which produces good fruit. Right. Okay? See, you can't surrender your will to God for His will. They nighted humility uh -huh. and obedience. Right. If you don't have these characteristics, done. you can't do kakko. Yeah. All right, next one. So the objectives for lesson two was state the Bible's goal for which every Christian must work. List four specific ways Jesus grew. Mentally, spiritually, socially. Uh, uh, Form habits that will help you attain Christian physical maturity. Uh, Christian, Christian maturity? Michael, before you go any further ahead, you have to explain swaminiope or physical. That, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do that right now. Yeah. Okay. D. No, uh, don't, let, don't let it happen again, though, right? Okay. D. Christian maturity, that's what this course is. It's not just spiritual. It's not just something we do in prayer. It's not just something we do when we worship on the Kangari. Your, your spiritual maturity needs to bleed into the physical life. Okay? Or Paul Penaz, um, work out your faith. That's right. Daily. Daily. Work it out. Bring it out. Right. Daily. Okay? Jesus... Ancient past, the devlesas us. And then he physically manifested into this world. John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among men. What happened there? The physical, the spiritual, physical. impacted the physical. Correct. Okay? Alright, I got this thing's working now. We're good. Okay. Develop Christian mental maturity by filling your mind with good thoughts. Amen. What does this mean? We can't always be negative. We can't always be critical. We can't always go and looking for what's wrong because it'll flood our mind with bad thoughts. Yes. You mean don't be mean. 
there, there, it, there's a whole set of things. But here, here's one example, okay? When we walk into a church, let's look for what's good. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 Because we could always go and find the bad. Right. Because there's no perfect church, there's no perfect Correct. person, there's no perfect situation. And it's and, 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 and it's it's ridiculous. Right. But we need to fill our mind with good thoughts. We need to fill our mind with the word of God. Hold it, you pin out Jesus. Capo uh, Divano, joy, I give you joy. Devil, joy. Oh, Jesus, can I give you joy? Yeah. Let's not forget that. Right. Because some Christians, Delamil Doko, that joy. Mahalamit was triumphant. I pair the joy. 100%. So, we, what does this mean? We need to expose ourselves to the good things now who's good god 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 is jesus good. only god. god is good okay so this comes through relationship this comes by living in the word this comes by staying in the water correct i should be honest only god yeah. is good yeah and i don't mean nothing toward jesus but <laughs> the rich man came to jesus good teacher what must i do well, why do you call me good teacher only god is good <laughs> all right i wrote that today Okay. <laughs> what did it tell us, Bill Jesus? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Make progress toward Christian social maturity. Okay. We. Something we don't like doing. Do not, do what now? Make make progress. The, look at the. Make progress toward Christian social maturity. That means. Hold on. Hold on. That means not me to strangers, right? No. <laughs> That means the Naves Hermit. Right. Basically, that means right. the Naves Hermit. Yeah. And also, it doesn't say make progress towards social maturity. It says Christian social Amen. maturity. Right. Right. Divano and they, used to be Christians. Right. Purano uh, Divano and they check all the sun. Right. Okay. I actually like the way Solomon says that. What? Bad, bad, bad company corrupts good morals. Yes, yeah. bad company corrupts good morals. All right. So, choose habits, thoughts, and relationships that will help you on your way toward spiritual maturity. Guys, look at what the, what is this saying? It's not easy. Look at all the help we need to set up for ourselves in order to. Guidelines. Achieve, Kako. Set yourself up like this, like that. Not karanka that. So, what you're saying is, the bull order on the Christian life. I'll del deli order sa. Yeah. Correct? 100%. Amen. Amen. Guys, you just need to remember when you start, ta when you start talking to ask for the microphone. Okay? Um, last one. Describe the servanthood. Of Jesus and identify yourself as his servant. Do you just want me to just blast through the next no, couple no, no, ones no, no, or you just no. want to take our time on these? Michael, this one's important. Explain yourself a little. Uh, Guys, seven. it's been six months. You know what I mean? We should, we should, it's been about that. Yeah. Lesson three, introduction. The primary, the primary illustration of Christian maturity in the Bible is Jesus Christ. He is the primary illustration. Remember those markings? He is the primary illustration. Yeah. He is our elder brother. Amen. Amen. Brother. He took the form of a servant. And obeyed the Father perfectly. Yeah. He humbled himself through death on the cross. The Christians, Christians are to be conform, conformed to the likeness of Jesus Christ. This is the goal of Christian maturity. The believer lives to do the will of Jesus Christ. This is revealed by God's Word 
and the Holy Spirit. The likeness of Jesus Christ. Ephesians says the likeness of Jesus Christ. God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, God Jesus Christ decided send Jesus and give them the example to who they could be like. Uh, the likeness of Jesus Christ applies to the physical, the mental, and the social parts of our lives, as well as the spiritual part. It's Mike, not just spiritual. Michael? Yeah. I would like to mention the Greek, what it says about this. It's called metanoia. Yeah. To change one's mind towards a di different direction. To turn around and go towards God. Basically, that's what it means. Yeah. And we're going to go further into it, and you will see that this will come up periodically. Okay, he's telling us to maturity comes from turning around and not doing childish things. To become more mature, you have to have a change of mind. It's definitely a decision. It's definitely a choice. And it's definitely an overhaul. Amen. If Chachez Mangales to Paladel, and if you really want to be pleasing to God, to be a mature Christian, a mature son of God, Amen. so that God could not, so that you could not only enjoy God, but God could enjoy you. In fellowship, if you want to please God in this way, then there's a lot, but for the most part, that needs to get changed. In this a is also life. speaking. Need to change. This is also speaking. So, so Debresco, about pastors, ministers, I vela if they're missing any part of it. They're shaven, I te roden the Debresco mui. I did de la Sharan. What about Debreski Panel? Stop and strengthen what's left. Right. And I think, because uh, we're talking about Christians, we're not talking about newborns or non believers. We're talking about Christians, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years old Christians. What they have been passed by. Right. And it's never too late. A penela mingo del. Yet guys wrote penel divano, not in the Bible, but it's better late than never that you do turn around. You change your life. This is a life changing experience. Yeah. It's not a something that you just read in a book. Right. This is something that's supposed to be applied to your life. It is not a topical no, uh, right. treatment. Kai tos suto an ai gata san sai jaz u pra ai pritroz ai kadas kakusa something kai so deep spiritually on humanus te avel kodo manus kaldel an ikaku order an ikaku humility an ikaku uh, spiritual uh, likeness of Christ. It's actually telling us to pick up our cross and do what we're supposed yeah. to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. Dig, uh, I found out something. When a revelation, when a teaching, when a word uh, comes full circle, yeah. when Gojin, you meditate on it and you find yourself coming full circle back around, yeah. this connects to that and that connects to that, yeah. and you find yourself right back at the start, I, and the water bottle confirms itself over and over and over again. Yeah. And you find yourself yeah. in that continuous circle. Let me tell you something. That is 100% a revelation. Because yes. let me tell you why. Yes, the I agree. The word confirms the word. I agree. But and it it's doesn't, all in harmony. It doesn't always come that moment. You could be in the car four days later or two weeks yeah. later. Go even a month, two months later. And then it hits you. I got this. Oi, is that what that was about? Mm hmm I can just thank you, Jesus. And it makes sense with everything else. Amen. And everything comes into harmony. Dig what you just said in lesson one, Suras, 
And that is from fall to redemption, yeah. from redemption to maturity. Yeah. To be redeemed, you have to come through repentance. Correct. You have to come through metanoia. Now, that, that's an example right there. Deke, he's talking about metanoia. He's talking about repentance. We're talking about Christian maturity, but yet sayekso. You know what that means? It means because Kakol Revelation, this is 100% sound. This is 100% in harmony with the Word of God. Amen. And that means we should pay attention. Amen. Not just put it down in notes, Amen. but apply it on the Amaro trial. Amen. Uh, okay, so uh, describe the servanthood of Jesus Christ and, the, and identify yourself as His servant. Describe the servanthood of Jesus Christ. That means take a good look at it. And then identify yourself as His servant. Do what He did. Examine yourself. Right. Rikodosa ado metanoia is to examine yourself. Right. Deke, Penazo Jesus, there is no greater love than this than a man to lay down his life for his friend. Penazo do. Okay. After that, he got up, he left from the table, it was the last supper, says, and he went to the cross. Correct. Yeah. He said it, and then he did it. No greater love is this than a man to lay down his life for his friend. That is, Guy Penal, describe the servanthood of Jesus. Can that little line right yeah. there? We just described the servanthood. I think so, Penal. And identify yourself as his servant. Now do what he did. Repentance, to be redeemed, you have to go to the cross. So, Bonnie, we're going full circle. Amen. Lesson three. The primary guys are are we okay? Is this taking too long? We're good. We're good. Are we no, good? We're good, good because Naiz de is confirming yeah. uh, all all that we've learned and all that we we could retain. Right. And bring back to I, I, I know it's taking a little bit long. I know we want to get into lesson five, but I hope I hope we could continue these and we should recap and catch on where we left off from. Yeah, I know. A uh, little patience. A few more minutes, we'll get there. Okay. The primary illustration of Christian maturity in the Bible is Jesus Christ. One second. No. The primary illustration of Christian maturity in the Bible is Jesus Christ. He is our elder brother. He took the form of a servant and obeyed the Father perfectly. We read this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got to go forward. Okay. Uh, but the Bible, did we read this part? No, keep going. No, we read this. But the Bible illustrates our Christian growth in other ways too. In this lesson, we will study several illustrations. Uh, these will include... The family, farming, and building. You remember that? Yes, we are yes, the building, sir, yes. we are the yes. farm, yes. we are the family. Okay? Are the Our, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. Our purpose is to see the concept of Christian maturity as clearly yes, as possible. possible. Okay? Perhaps, <coughs> perhaps you have seen a great hill or mountain from a distance. It looks rather close. You think you can reach it in a short time. As you approach it, the distance seems much greater. We sometimes call this perspective or a point of view. We are trying to see our subject from several perspectives, several approaches. Allow the Holy Spirit to give you the right perspective. Guys, that makes all the sense in the world. That makes all the sense in the world. Good one. Not that close with the mic, Tom. You got it. All right. Okay, lesson three outline. Uh, we looked at, we grow up in a family starting as a baby, Amen. changing our diet, right. accepting different roles, different responsibilities as maturity comes. Okay? We are like a valuable farm belonging to God and carrying out responsibility as a workman in God's field. So we word the field, and then after we were redeemed, we became the workers in the field. Okay. Saran? Yeah. Okay. We are a building of God. 
uh, the foundation and building, and then how to build God's building. I remember that. You all remember that? Yes. Okay. The lesson three objectives were state, a, state how a new Christian can grow from a spiritual baby toward Christian maturity, explain how a Christian can gain understanding of a more advanced spiritual truth, list three things included in the process of growing up spiritually, explain how Ephesians 3, 17 and 18 indicates that we belong to God. Describe the responsibility God's field. Describe the responsibility to God's field that we must carry out in order to recap uh, God's harvest of blessing. There's a typo here. Oh no, reap. In order to reap God's harvest of the blessing, uh, use Corinthians three twelve to explain the operation of man's free will in the choice of. I can't see that. Materials, Materials for God's spiritual building. Uh, let's see if we got the scriptures up. Do you want to pull up these scriptures? Jim, get us these scriptures. Ephesians 3. What, what, what was the scriptures? Guys, uh, let me get the book. 17 to 18. Okay, go to verse 17. You got it? Okay. Yeah, Ephesians 3, 17. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, 18, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height. Go one more. No, go to 19. You're not very good at this shit. She was up there. She didn't like it. She didn't enjoy it. She's doing better than you. To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Go back to the... Google. Okay, so explain how Ephesians 3, 17, 18 indicates that we belong to God. Uh, let's TV show. All right, last one, and then we're going to get into lesson five. Uh, Jim, when we pull up a, a scripture, don't put the, like, verse 18, verse, just put, like, Ephesians 3, and then you can click on the verses. After the last lesson, you should feel somewhat like a son growing up, a valuable, a valuable piece of land being carefully farmed, or a great and beautiful building under construction, which, like, which likeness do you most identify with? No matter, in a sense, we are like all three at once. Each illustration describes exciting potential for Christian growth. One part of this lesson is meant to show you from Scripture things that cause Christian maturity to be delayed or even stopped entirely. Recognizing these will help us identify them in, will help us identify them in our own lives, knowing why we are not growing spiritually can help us being uh, bring about change. Okay, so it's not it's important for us to have all of the illustrations, the understandings, the pictures of what takes us toward Christian maturity, but at the same time we need to know what stops it. We need to identify what could bring it to a halt, bring it to slow down, or yeah. stop it entirely. Uh, so that's that's very important too. Okay, um, you have to go earlier to trip in them on some Mesomo TV, the uncle's go shop. Um, or Michael, some Rojamotro, let's go papo katsa, kaku jimmy, 
I'm Rishabe, Samar and Epozo. Um, couple weeks ago, back then, I was going to do a quote about I make them just study the subsequent papere. I make them a few other things, book work, I show repentance. I then make a word about devotion a few weeks ago back. Kakala bucha so jinian, so city di kazma in grey. Naila she, chikaram bucha ni chotrayo without devotion. Or devotion, sika Jesus, Kajal. loyalty, faithfulness. Pika kale buchango, chikar jo pe kanchi. Nai interaction, te pagudjo lo manus de skutrayo, te avelo del te lo prao. Musai te surrender lo manus, ai te penal devla. I want to be devoted to you. Haida, Sakamanga, take over, take charge. E, e te avesa observatori, kai vaik suchutari, kai sucharas, and kangari. There's always room for improvement at all times. This is so dikas. Kamerikaya uh, sadivano, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That is straight from Satan Kodo Divano. Cause Sai Sucholo Manuzo Puro Sarte Vortol Jedi Sarte Ridilpiska Familia Sarte Arakopiska Familia Sote Sucharoli Kako Sucharimos La Show Cataro Dello I personally Recommend Kakus Cherimos. A children after Jana Consum, but separation of Varakas, Consul Stevie, and the Francuzura. I penetuko, the Uncle's Koshab, K. Kakala, Bucha, Sakavas, Zumavasti Sakavas, Swako Jason in Maro Trio. Numa and the Rumia Trais, I sometimes subizami. It is a bisalo manus. Nai kanchi, nadaran. Tante meno gudjumos. I penente avelo del papelent malo trajo, I te lelo prao. I o del vorto swako felo. So kardem rong halavel, chistol. I tola mirigati, but musai ame, te ava sanctified, leska. In order te kadoka kalabuchamensa. Te namangasa te ava sanctified, then so happen you pay is Karaz Jedi without authority and without order Katarudel I dicho kudala bucha ke fruta kai sakavaz ida lashila vai chuga fruta sa I na konik dilages hararan le gomuzo hararan anakuda manai perdule kangara pavale prao kai den chuga fruta ai sakaven Chogo trail. Aven de mangas pali catarodel. So does a me pervo. Stavard is birth papari. Love, I fate. And let those things lead our life. Amen? Amen. Okay. So, lesson four outline was what hinders our growth? Wrong timing. Wrong exercise of will, lack in diet. Okay. What helps our growth? The Holy Spirit is our helper. The Holy Spirit working through our spirit. Lesson four objectives were state what caused the people's retarded spiritual condition <laughs> in Hebrews 5.12. Please repeat that. And what Bible is that from? Uh, we're going to read from the New King James. Uh, James is put the word retarded in the Bible. Space and then the number five. No. 
Yeah, and then you can pull up all the verses. Uh, it's not in the Bible. Actually. It's in the Bible. Uh, okay. State what caused the people's retarded spiritual condition in Hebrews 5.12. Uh, Tony, why don't you read us this scripture? Let me get you the microphone. Amen. You got, you got to hold it like this. There you go. Hallelujah. Can you hear me well enough? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk, not solid food. It's okay, take your time. For for everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Shall we change the uh, so go to New Living? The, the, new living the, better. the New Living. New Living. Tony, get your phone out. Thou shalt not pass. I right, go to New Living. It's, it's a lot better. Block zero. Amen. There, I can hear myself now. No, that's better. That means when you're too close. Look who's talking. So Tony, what's on the right, go ahead. Tony, what's on? Okay, here we go. Hebrews chapter twelve, New Living translation. Five. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12, New Living Translation. You have been believers so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you again the basic things about God's word. You are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food. For someone who lives on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Okay. The writer of Hebrews is telling these people who are retards. Yeah, that's the Apostle Paul, right? No, I no, believe no. it's the Apostle Paul. Huh? I believe it's the Apostle Paul. Uh, Jim, take us back to uh, your phone. Uh, so, Hallelujah. lesson for objectives. State what caused the people's retarded spiritual condition in Hebrews... Five. Now, retarded isn't a word de marasmui. It's a word to describe something's wrong to you. Can't grow we, we understand it in, in most cases, something mm -hmm. is wrong mentally, that's so. Something wasn't developed properly. Something didn't go right. And there's a retarded condition. But the writer of Hebrews in chapter 5 is showing us a retarded spiritual condition. That means someone could go for 15, 20, 30, 40, 40 50 years, years and right. something could be wrong. Spiritually. Not spiritually. Not spiritually. Not something could be wrong with the spiritual mind, yeah. the spiritual heart, the spiritual ear, the spiritual eyes. Right. So it's very scary. And, and, and the worst part is they didn't know it. You can even say that in division then, though. Go ahead, division. This, this person that is spiritually retarded or in nicer terms of special needs, yeah. is this person saved, signed, sealed, delivered? I hope so. Okay. You're asking a loaded question. We could always be hopeful. Okay? But but here's the reality. Um, the answer is no. There's usually no. a whole set of things that are Michael, hopeful. the answer is no. And the answer I have to say is no. Because if you're a retard, it's because you choose not to learn. Not because to learn. remember what the first lesson was. From fall to Amen. redemption, from redemption to maturity. 
That means you can't get to maturity it's on without you. first being redeemed. It's you on don't you. get to redemption without first coming to repentance. You're not truly it's, redeemed. Th th there's balance here. There's an order here. So that's you're not truly redeemed. You think you're redeemed. Right. Let's, uh, let's okay. move on. So we're going to finish this. We'll take a five-minute break. We're not taking no breaks. Let's keep going. Well, then we'll get into... To, no, I, I, I'd like some tea. Oh, some tea and cakes. Wonderful. Okay, then to the house, biz. Silence, silence. Attention, girls. Put it some. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, this question has to be answered the way it was answered at the Bible study six months ago. It's okay. This question has to be answered the way we answered it at the Bible study six months ago back. Chi sam ami kon peno kon sajal nuhai kon nastil. But side asked to me an idea how this works. A retard is a person whom spiritually has a mental handicap. So I ask you, can a person in a wheelchair save someone who's drowning in the ocean? The answer is obviously no. Can the blind lead the blind? The answer is no. This is a person who needs to re-examine his life, ask God to spiritually grow. Now, there's a guy that comes on television and it's funny. He actually says that some midgets grow. <laughs> <laughs> However, we need to have some sort of understanding here. So, Jopi. However, it is not something can I see That's right. So, this is something we're going to leave up to faith and God. And hopefully, these people, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, Amen? Amen. Yeah, let me get you. There you go. <coughs> if anyone by this time is thinking that they are spiritually uh, behind, or like I said, spiritual, need spiritual needs, 
because you realize you have no spiritual growth since being born again 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Uh, th there's a part in the Bible called like Penelope James. If anybody lacks in wisdom, let him ask. Amen. And God Amen. will give it to them. Go on. Very good point. Okay, so point out specific wrong exercises of human will in its relationship to God's will. Explain why it seems evident in 1 Corinthians 3.12 that the Christian's own negligence had caused their lack in spiritual diet. I think we want to look at that, right? Yeah. Okay, Jim, type in one space. Okay, you got it? Did, is that the right verse? What was it? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Make sure you got the other verses ready too. He's good. He's on it. All right. Dear brothers and sisters, when I was with you, I couldn't talk to you as I would to spiritual people. I had to talk to you. I had to talk as though you belonged to this world or as though you were infants in Christ. Chuda. Go to the next verse. I had, I had to feed you with milk, not with solid food, because you weren't ready for anything stronger. Huh. You, and you still aren't ready. What, where are we reading? One more, one more. The, the, the verse is right here on the bottom. Keep going See you? First Corinthians 3. For you are still controlled by your sinful yeah. nature. You are jealous of one another and quarrel, you fight, and quarrel with each other. Doesn't that prove you are controlled by your sinful nature? Aren't you living like people of this world? Self-explanatory. Guys, that, that, that's, that's ridiculous. Okay. The, uh, Christian means to be follower of Christ. But do you know because church, it, 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 it pictures this. This is how you can explain it. Christians is followers of Christ. Church is the called out ones, called out from the world. Right. Jesus prayed at Gadaz, Father, they are in the world, but they are not of the world. Correct. Okay? Go back to the Google Chrome for a second, Jim. Explain why it seems evident in uh, 1 Corinthians 3 that the Christian's own negligence had caused their lack in spiritual diet. Which goes back to number one. Okay, so it's your Not fault. only did they lack in diet, they couldn't process. La Which goes back to number one. Which goes back to number this one. This is why you're spiritually unfit. Right. You're a Paul. Probably the greatest apostle out of all. He couldn't get to them. Like a little, little, little add-on. The apostle, the apostle Paul himself, mm. couldn't minister to these he people. Do it. His hand was tied. Hand was tied. And and us that are not as educated as Paul or as uh, flamboyant is another word. Uh, and, and, and we expect to, to to get to these people. That is sad. So good, Gajeka, the clam. This cake is good. <laughs> so good, Gajeka, the clam, that uh, they're, they're deaf. Their heart of hearing. But, but, but hold on. Their, their heart of hearing. I lost it then, Duma. Right. Because they can't hear. Correct. Okay? And and then, Akala, Buzo Gajek, they do surgeries, things. There's those ear plants. They saw a student, so they could hear Akala. But yeah. they went most of their lives not being able to hear. Side post to Tony, let's say, close the bound. No. She had it all to go. She had it all. She had it all to go. There's a lack there. Even though you want to, your hands are tied. So what you're saying is, a spiritually retarded person might as well have a really good listen. Stevie, it's, 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 all, it's all messed up because it goes we're talking about there's a lack of maturity somewhere. 
It's not, and probably not just in one place, in multiple places. And then on okay. top of that, we're talking that lack of maturity caused retardedness. So then and this then is lack of diet, malnutrition. This, this is a child. Go deeper. Yeah, go deeper. This is a child. Let me get you the microphone. This person is a child. He has childish reactions. He he starts throwing tantrums because he doesn't know what to do. Now, can this person lead other children to cross the street? No, he cannot. He cannot. A person has to be a certain age of mind before he's allowed to cross the street. Babies don't know what cars are. But a mature child understands this and he knows what a red light is and a green light and he knows when to cross the street. And it doesn't take a very old child to no. do that either. No, it doesn't. So this is the problem here. Asuneni, what about David Esky? But she had an unsopin in. It flies over the head. Yeah. It flies over the head. Yeah. It's a spirit of deafness and dumbness. Yeah, Chorali, what about Devreski? How many times does the Bible tell us he's who has an ear? Let him hear. Let him hear. That means some people don't have it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nine? No, can you read that other part? It was very, very, very important for this one. Which one, Jim? In, in Hebrews? Chino. That other part. Which one? Before this one. Go back to the I scriptures. Mean, yeah. Go the, back the, to the, the scriptures, uh, Michael. Jim, pull up uh, Corinthians 3. No, Corinthians. Says. No, Corinthians 3. Corinthians. Yeah. Okay. Just type 1 space C-O-R. Right yeah. Tony, can you read this for us? Let me get him the microphone. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, when I was with you, I couldn't talk to you as I would to spiritual people. I had to talk to you as though you belonged to this world or as though you were infants in Christ. Before you switch, let me break that down a little better. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'm out of problem, out of pay. Can I sum us to Mensa a few years ago back? Can I do us Duma to Mensa? Musa says, Manga de Dav Duma to Mensa, Sar San Gaije and the Kachalumia, Sachi Sanas Parode, Sachi Sanas born again. So, Moga Waterby was held back as much as I could because you couldn't handle the whole truth. So Musa says, "You have to make to mention the locals." Let me read it again, dear brothers and sisters. When I was with you, I couldn't talk to you as I would to spiritual people. I had to talk to you as though you belonged to this world, as though you were infants in Christ. Jim, would you say that's a nice review, Tony? Yeah, yeah, of course. I had to feed you with milk not with solid food because you weren't ready for anything stronger and you still aren't ready sachi sangata still musaidaftud soska de khaz de guys guys let's 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 think about this for a second hallelujah I, i'm going to say this but everybody say it to yourself how bad if that's me i know but look how scary Look how scary that is. How bad if that's me? Let's not name names tonight. <laughs> no, sure. All right, next verse, Jim. For you are still controlled by your sinful nature. This is a past pretense, which means 
you have the ability not to be controlled by your sinful nature. Amen. So let me read it again. For you are still controlled by your sinful nature. The writer... Uh, you have the opportunity. Paul, Paul is in shock. You are These jealous. Are Christians. Jealous Christians. of one another. Right and quarrel with each other. I sought them and chant them and yekar of us. Le manus and I loom ya chant pe. I have made some Christians. I may still chant them and saw one. Doesn't that prove you are controlled by your sinful nature? Doesn't that prove kasachi ba rujulo cho ducho cho cho soul cho nature chi sa penenik temengo wom chi anima chi your soul, your 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 you. Right. Uh, aren't you living like people of this world? You are to be called out, Christian, but you are living like the people of this world. Now think about this. Let's it's think. It's not a Let's good thing. Let's think about the time. Right. Now let's let's think about let's think about the time, the setting that he's in. You're in the first generation, first second generation church. Right. These are. This is the time when people pass pass you by, and their shadows their healing. Shadows were yeah. healing. This is the time when people go to jail, the chains break, and the doors open. Mm -hmm. This is the time when five thousand get baptized because fire fell from heaven. Yeah. Okay, this here is shocking. Saso jalpi, saso gulopi. You seen it. You heard it. You lived it. You were there. Amen, sasana. I still got that good on Sosa Domingo. Something's wrong here. Yeah. Something don't fit. Something's broke. Because God is moving, and this is what you are. This is Sairas Shilen to me. There's the, a problem uh, here. The, the, the Romano equivalent to this is Dume San Dile. You guys are spiritual retards. No. Spiritual retards. No, I'm sorry. Dile. Shut up. What he's telling you is, Pass the mic to Stevie. Hold on, Stevie. One second. So, I'm going to talk about the Apostle Paul. The Herrera and the Savoro. The Chippa Rodrigo to Trayo. Get to be last help, Pagodo. A change, a dynamic change in the Trayo. Still son, the same manus. The only difference is Akana to Marazzola dryly. Suchile. I to me chipa rujilin. Kakar sug divano, Kaisai penav romanes. The Havot Sagatsutsa had a dimos. Then give reputation Nalashi. Dimosai. Yeah. Our manus. That's all he's got in the Kachalu message is for reputation. All right, Jim, take us back to the Chrome, guys. This is it. We're done. This is uh, we're going into five now. Jim, take us back to the Chrome. We're going for a five minute break. Uh, we're. I gotta get to this last page. It's two lines. We're already on. Okay, so explain why b a believer may grow in Christ yeah. through the Holy Spirit. Identify two opposing forces in your life. Describe your part in achieving a walk in the Spirit. Okay, that's done. Uh, five minute break. You guys go wash your guys' hands. We're done. Huh? We're done with the recap. Five okay. Jim, keep it recording, but get the, the other programs ready. Huh? Yeah. It was, uh, it was an hour and 10 minutes. An hour and 16. Uh, uh, it, we did, we did. Uh, it was an hour and 16. It was an hour and 16. It was an hour and 16. E sunto du hoski voya, te kurjopi. Nai katara moro gundo, amici das amicasa, des maticaras maimisto, aminga, avi tu minga, mane de bleski vreme, andresco taimu. Pegacum minuto, sub boot stories, gasitejas, 
and I mother studies the Debrisk studies. Canadian du mal is Charo, the Rome, the Maitre de Pura, the Debrisk Vasta, the Debrisk Warbis, Nayek War Bamari. Sa Pelo Gajo, this spiritual penetration, the last I mean, the Alaras, the Bariwas, and the Duho, the Debrisk. I will teach a chest trees and illumia. I try to develop this is part of penalty, retarded, mental. She means actually with that word, but my name what the the body was. The I mean the shot to know and no deal to what the body was. My pick a good time to get us break, and it got good enough to manage the wages of me and the manus get soon. I got them manage the wages of me. Please don't summer. I learn, we jump to me, my room, my room churches, not a man down me, and they go to and I will go, and I will go to the Lord. I will go to the Lord, and 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 I will go to the Lord. Amen. Alright guys, we're in a garage. No big deal. I was going to say something. No. No. I need you to put get uh Are you on number five? Lesson five? Go up to where it says five. Would you sign them before? No, Jim, stop. Oh, Jim, you... No, it's... Not on Chrome yeah, Jim, we're not that critical. If people are retards, they get offended, they deserve it. It's in the Bible. The kindness, niceness is always good. It goes a long way. Don't let them leave kindness and niceness. Okay, but Papo, you gotta understand something. Okay, the the recap was more Amanga because we 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 needed to get refreshed. Guys, I'm guys, listen to me. That was beautiful. Guys, I'm terribly sorry. Guys, Eric, Eric and Tony. Second time we're going guys, through it. I apologize. The, the first time I'm sorry. Went in a deep I really wanted to get through that in 15 oh, oh. minutes. Jimmy, no, 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 no. I we we, we ended up doing that. Huh? Last time. No last time I, last time I went to it. No, last time in class, I I did it in 15 minutes. Okay, right. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this. You wanna? But this is so What are we doing? We need this book to I, I, it's up to you. Uh, Tony's voting for next week. I'm saying to do a page and a half. Tonight is tell you what, tonight was going to be the rough night. I know, tell you what. Save it for next week. Okay. We could all read. How many pages do you want us to read? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's, what? let's see. We should. Read it we should. Boom, boom, boom. It's page eight. It's page 80. No. Page 84 is, 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 is lesson five. Let's stop at page 90. Let me see. What what's like the halfway point? One two. Yeah, let's not overdo it. Let's not overdo it. I think you're right. Page and a half, Mike. Page ninety one. 
Man, is 91 what? half of less than 5? It is three miles from here. It is here. Just tell me to so. It is here at 90. You should have called him, Michael. Who? Damn it, I love you. Stevie, we don't know if we want to call people. No, he's here. That's it. That's good. He's the one that needs to be taught. Right? You cook the hunger. No, Michael. 91 is not the one. He's the one that needs to learn. Guys, lesson five is it's, it's good size. I know. Read from. Then read. Hold on. Five? Eric, let's just see. Let's just see how it goes when we get there. Five again. We, no, we, we never went to five. We didn't go to five. We're finished. We're, we're done tonight. <coughs> we're not oh, going to stop. Done tonight. The boys don't want. The, the boys don't want to go no further. Well, we have Everybody to pray. On. We're, we're going to start. The Dilla Mill. Eighty-four to ninety-five. Yeah, read that. That's homework. That's yeah. Read that. You got a week to read that. When we recap, I'll come back and talk about it. Okay. Okay. Eighty-four. Guys, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm going to go through the whole thing. Michael. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, maybe. I'll find out. I'll find out. Why do you want someone else's coming out? No, no, no. They're, uh, little patio guns. Huh? Uh, no, we're done with it. Could you go get me a cigarette? Did you feel that was out of proportion when I did? I didn't pay attention, honestly. Michael, you got it? Michael, oh. just do it this way, Michael. Let's read. It's only really 11 pages. So, you got to fix your speaker for the microphone. I'll get us a little bit more set up. We need some more lights on that side. No, you know, you can do it. Oh. I'll get us a few more other things. Uh -huh. But, Steve, you're God, right. Poor show. Huh? I love it. We talk. If anything, well, I'll talk to no. But I know good uh, I'm not gonna ask them. They they shoot them in for three months. Obviously, they're not interested. They hard and, and they want they start now. They we're done at night. And we started late. And we went long. Mm, not in a few weeks. Why not show power? Guys, I, I didn't call him. Why? I just don't think he'd, he's interested in these things. Um, guys, it was a little bit of a rough patch tonight, but I think we had to go through it. This is obviously so Magnazo Delarat. We got reminded. We got refreshed. Huh? Leave the mic alone. What mic? Oh. With the comments and everybody giving their opinion, just read the book. Oh, the damn book. Okay. Well, I, th I think I think I think next time it'll go. It was very powerful, very Dharani, very holy. We got to show up. And I got the tip. You guys got more. Read uh, should read what like I told you guys to read. It should be one reader. Just five, read. I like to get those four five 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 scriptures done. done to the end. Jimmy, you got an iPhone. It's hard to put down the hammer right now. We'll see how it goes next week, and then if if we have to cut it down. Read those pages, and we'll come back and touch up on it. We recorded it all. Get me some cigarettes. The batteries went on went out on my microphone a couple of times. I know it picked me up from that one a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. But this one was more just a mango. Set them up for YouTube. They call it Kamel Five Kick again.